In this video lecture, we will understand and distinguish between the terms chromosome and chromatin. Chromatid and sister chromatids. Let's begin. We know that double stranded DNA molecules present in the cells of organisms are the repository of genetic information. A eukaryotic cell has more than one DNA molecule in its nucleus. Each of these DNA molecules carries thousands of genes that determine an organism's inherited traits. Another important point is that, structurally these DNA molecules are not simply double-stranded molecules. In fact, these DNA molecules are packaged into thread-like bodies, within the nucleus. These structures are known as, chromosomes. In Greek, chroma means color and, soma means body. They are so called because, they take up certain dyes used in microscopy. Chromosome can be defined as, thread-like structures in eukaryotic cell nucleus, that carry genetic information in the form of genes. Let's talk about some important points of chromosomes in eukaryotes. Chromosomes are found, in the cells of all eukaryotes. Each cell contains, multiple chromosomes. Each chromosome contains a single, linear double-stranded, DNA molecule. The number of chromosomes may vary from one species to another. In fact, the number of chromosomes typically is characteristic of the species. For example, chromosome number in garden P is 14. Mouse has 40. Drosophila has 8. And humans have 46 chromosomes. As we said, each chromosome contains a single, linear double-stranded DNA molecule. These DNA molecules of each chromosome are associated with many proteins. These proteins maintain the structure of chromosomes and they also help in controlling the activity of the genes. So, the building material of chromosome is DNA and its associated proteins. The complex of DNA and its associated proteins is known as chromatin. It is the material that makes up the eukaryotic chromosome. The images shown here are just for illustration. The actual organization of chromosome is more complex. You can have an idea of this organization of DNA into the chromosome by looking at this image. We will study DNA packaging and chromosome organization in some other lecture later. The proteins associated with DNA in a chromosome are known as histone proteins or simply histones. Histones are positively charged proteins. This is because, the basic amino acids arginine and lysine are abundant in them. Now, how this information is useful to us. We know that, DNA molecules are negatively charged because of phosphate groups. Histones being positively charged are strongly attracted to the DNA molecule. Histones guide the coiling of DNA. Now, let's understand what do we mean by chromatid and sister chromatids. Before a cell divides, the chromosomes are replicated. So, let's say these are two chromosomes in the nuclei of a eukaryotic cell. Each of these replicate, this means, we have now, two, identical copies, of each chromosome. Here. Note that, these identical copies of chromosomes remain attached to each other in a region known as centromere. This connection is maintained for a particular duration during the process of cell division. Now tell me, what you would say about the number of chromosomes in this cell. Are there four chromosomes or two chromosomes? The answer is, there are two chromosomes. 
This is because, each of the replicated copies remains attached to the original chromosome and, is identical to it. In biology, the identical copies of chromosomes, connected at centromere, are considered as, a single chromosome. Each single copy of the, replicated chromosome is termed as, chromatid. So, how many chromatids are there in this cell? There are, four chromatids. Those identical chromatids, that are bound to each other at the centromere, are known as, sister chromatids. So, these two chromatids are sister chromatids. And similarly, these two chromatids are also sister chromatids. But, a chromatid of the purple chromosome, and a chromatid of the pink chromosome are, non-sister chromatids. So, in this video lecture, we understood that, chromosome is a thread-like structure in eukaryotes, that carry genetic information. This genetic information is in the form of a single, long, DNA double helix, that is associated with proteins called, histones. The complex of DNA and, its associated proteins is called, chromatin. Each of the double-stranded, DNA copy, in a replicated chromosome is called a, chromatid and, chromatid copies that remain attached at their centromere are known as, sister chromatids. I hope this lecture is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.